वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम मिलिंद ठाकरे फ्रॉम एस वी के टी कॉलेज देवराली कैम्प नासिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी टेंसेस एनालिसिस एंड इन द लास्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू एन असेसमेंट सिंस चाइल्डहुड वी हैव बीन रीडिंग एंड प्रैक्टिसिंग द यूजेस ऑफ टेंसेस एंड वी ऑल नो दैट द टेंसेस आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज if we want to write correct sentence we have to we need grammar then and when you want to express or to say something you should or we should be able to express those thoughts in the right tenses so in this session we are going to learn the futures of tenses there are three types of tenses present tense past tense future tense and tenses are the backbone of english language with the use of tenses we can frame sentences short sentences long sentences we can write essays we can write stories so tenses are very important and not only important but using them correctly is very important in english there are english grammar there are three tenses present tense past tense future tense all the tenses these three tenses have four forms the indefinite form which express the facts or habitual activities then there is a continuous or imperfect tense this tense shows an action that is or which was or will be in the progress at a certain time then there is a perfect tense which is used to refer to an action or state that is completed at the time of speaking or at a time spoken of and the last fourth form is perfect continuous tense this tense is used to say that an event or action is was or will be continually occurring but that is was or will be completed at a later time or that action relates to a later time also the first tense is in the present tense is simple present tense we use simple present tense to describe facts truths habits or actions that are done repeatedly all the facts whatever is true is always to be spoken in simple present tense even if the actions that does not happen every day or regularly but it do take place whether you can for example you visit your native place once a year not every day not every month once in a six month or once in a twice year two years so this simple present tense is used to describe such things and they are also used to describe scheduled events in the future now how simple present tense is formed there is a simple formula subject verb 
plus object and we use the first form of the subject of the verb the root form first person second person and third person subjects we use the first or the root form of the verb for example i play i do we watch we dance this is do play watch dance write see run exercise all these verbs are in the first form or they are in the root form he she eat now he she eat these are singular with the third person singular subjects we add yes or es to the first or root form of the verb for example when we say i play and when you are talking about the third person he plays the meaning is the same and she watches the news all these verbs are in the first form but when i have told you when we used with he she it you will have to add yes or es to the first form of the verb and most forms add yes to the root form for example play takes dances watches writes does there are some verbs which end in the consonant plus y they are then we can add i uh, sorry e s yes. for example cry try reply now what we do at the end we remove that y and we add e s yes. i e s yes. cry it becomes cries try become tries reply become replies and we also use verbs which end in vowel plus y at the end of the verb for example stay play enjoy it is transformed into stays plays enjoys and we use these verbs when we are talking about the third person singular and when you are talking about we play and he plays this is the difference in the tense and where do we use the simple present tense we use simple present tense to express or describe the habits we use simple present tense when we talk about our daily routine or the actions that happen regularly in our life for example i like i play i play cricket i make tea i take breakfast i dance i sleep i write we write but when you will talk about the third person he likes he plays he makes so when we want to express the things that do not happen every day once in a month or once in a six months or once in a year but it do take place every year those things are also 
or we should use simple present tense to express those actions i visit my native place once in a year i watch a movie once in a month or i write a poem when i am alone not necessary that you should write the poems every day then only you should talk in simple present tense the things that happen repeatedly not every day are to be spoken in simple present tense and we talk about the simple present tense when we when uh, when we want to express the actions that take place every day or very often for example i i walk to college but even if you have come on bike today it's not necessary because sometimes or rarely you come by bike to college very often you always walk to college so simple present tense should be used we also use simple present tense to talk about the facts for example a liter of water weighs 1 kg the capital of mexico is mexico city and more than 70% of earth surface is ocean these are the facts since childhood we have been listening the sun rises in the east and sets in the west these are the facts mumbai is the capital of maharashtra mumbai is the financial capital of india these are the facts and when we talk about the facts they should be always expressed in simple present tense next comes present continuous tense now how this present continuous tense is formed there is a simple rule the formula is subject plus verb plus ing plus object after subject comes verb and to the root verb or the base verb we add ing so we use this present tense present continuous tense when the action is happening at the time of speaking whatever is happening around us at the time of speaking should be always spoken in present continuous tense for example i am practicing english grammar i am and then comes v verb plus ing practicing english grammar he she it is plus ing object he is watching the test match she is listening to the songs we you they we always use are plus v i n g we are going to nasik we are going to watch a movie they are quarreling means you are watching you can see when we use this type of tense that means the action is happening in front of you around you means we use present continuous tense to talk about the activities at the moment of speaking 
whatever is going around us at the time of speaking for example you are listening to the you are attending the lecture and someone calls you and you text a message that i am attending the class or when you are telling that i am waiting for you at the bus stop this the action is happening at the time of speaking we also use present continuous tense for future plans or arrangements for example you have decided that what you are going to do this sunday you have pre planned for example i am going to raigad fort this sunday means you have already decided the things that you have decided are to be expressed in present continuous tense i am going to watch movie this evening i am going to watch the test match this evening this are this is about future plans or your future arrangements you have already planned pre planned so this type of when we want to express we use present continuous tense then comes the present perfect tense the rule is very simple formula is very simple i we you they have plus past participle means the third form of verb we use have for i we you they and when it is singular third singular person we use has instead of have he she it has plus past participle that is the third form of verb and we also use already and just with the present perfect now where we use the present perfect tense we use present perfect tense to express actions that have just or already been completed one of your friend comes to you and he asks you for your friend for kiran and you have just seen him what you will say how will you express i have just seen him in the class i have just seen him on the ground means you have already seen or very often these things happen that one of your friend introduces his or her friend and you know and then you express yourself that we have already met we have already talked each other we have already met each other or your friend invites you for a movie he or she doesn't know that you have seen and then you tell him or her that i have already seen the movie means this action happened in the past but you are revealing it at the time of speaking that's it someone invites you your friend invites you for a tea or a breakfast very often we always respond with i have just taken my tea i have just taken my breakfast or you can you also respond that i have just been to the canteen so we use present perfect tense to express the actions that have just or already been completed before speaking we also use present perfect tense when something that happened in the past but it but it is important in the present for example i have 
very often you forget the mobile. I have forgotten my mobile. Now this thing, you are in the college and you forgot the, you, it's 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, whatever it may be. And every day you come to college at 7 o'clock, you have forgot the mobile at home. And when you come to college, you are in the college and you want to see it, then you find it that there is no mobile. So you talk to your friend. You tell him or her that I have forgotten my mobile at home. Or very often these things happen that most of the students when they come for the submission of form they forget some papers. They bring the file and when they open it they can't find it. So you have to express it that I have lost my papers, I have forgotten my papers. So this is the use of present perfect tense. Now the last tense in present perfect continuous tense, it is formed, there is a simple formula, I, we, you, they have been plus verb plus ing and he, she, it has been plus verb ing. Now where do we use present perfect continuous tense? We use it to talk about the past actions recently or the stopped and past actions but which are still continuing. For example, I have been practicing English for last three months. Or you are at the bus stop waiting for your friend and he comes after an hour and you will express it in this way that I have been waiting for you since 8 o'clock. Means you have been standing there for more than an hour. You have been waiting for him or her. I have been attending the lectures. Since offline lecture started. It means that you didn't attend the lectures offline because everything was on online. We also use present perfect continuous tense to express general activities in progress. Dhruv has been watching TV. Means you saw Dhruv half an hour or an hour ago and he is still watching it. I have been looking for you. Since 8 o'clock, it's 9 o'clock now, but you, the friend to whomever you are looking, you express when he or she comes. So these are the tenses. So we have to use the tenses very carefully. And I have told at the beginning that we should know the tenses. We should be able to use it correctly. We should express our thoughts, feelings in the right, using the right tense. And the best way to learn tenses is to apply these practically. For example, you are standing at the bus stop or you are in the market and whatever things are happening around you should be spoken or should be expressed in present continuous tense. Or you are sitting alone and the things that happen every day that take place 
try to think in English. Use simple present tense. The moment you get up till you go to bed, whatever things happen daily should be always spoken in simple present tense. I get up at 5 o'clock, I brush, I take a tea. I walk to college, I attend the lectures till you go to bed. All these things, the things that take place every day, very often, should be spoken in simple present tense. Perfect tense, the things that have happened. Before speaking, the action is completed, should be Expressed in present perfect tense. I had just had a tea. I just have been to canteen. So the things that happen, the listener doesn't know. He is unknown. He or she is unknown. Does not know where you have been. Or whether you have taken a tea, breakfast or not. This thing should be spoken or expressed in present perfect tense. Then the last we saw. Present perfect continuous tense. We should use this tense. The action is happening since the past and it is still going on. We should use present perfect continuous tense. Try to apply these in your expressions. So, for today, we have seen present tense. In the next session, we are going to practice about past tense. Thank you very much.